Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a requested video. It's all about my everyday foundation routine. Um, this is my foundation routine when I have tan on, as you can see. But I don't wear foundation or makeup when I don't have tan on, so I don't actually have one for pale skins. But um, if you are pale skinned, you can always just switch in the colours that I used for lighter tones. So um, if you want to see how I did this look, this dewy finish also please stay tuned and keep watching thanks guys okay so before I actually get into the application and the products used I just want to go through a little bit of skin prep and skin care now and um, because I have severely dry skin um, I do break out with eczema and psoriasis quite often on my skin and my body exfoliation really is a huge deal to me now this is the one that I personally use and I got it from pennies it cost me 150 and it's the facial cleanse and massage brush and it just looks like that it comes with a cover and everything it's nice and soft for your skin it's not going to cause any tearing or dragging or anything like that and it really exfoliates your skin so um, that's the one that I use I usually use it two to three times a week sometimes more depending on um, how my skin is that week but I do have to use it um, if you find that your foundation patchy it's dry it's flaking off um, or if you find that your moisturizer isn't absorbing into your skin it could be you need to exfoliate and take the top layer of dead skin cells off your skin I know it sounds disgusting but um, that could be why it's not absorbing into your skin so um, it's also brilliant for fine lines and wrinkles pumping up the skin a more youthful clear skin um, for blemishes all that kind of thing it's brilliant because it brings the circulation back up to your face to the top of your skin and it helps um, with cell renewal and growing new beautiful Okay, so before I start any routine at all, I always want to cleanse my face, whether I've already cleansed it that morning, if I'm only putting um, makeup on until that night to go out or something, I will always make sure that I cleanse my face again. And I got this and it's the Lamara um, Micellar Cleansing Water. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It literally, no word of like that is true when it says removes makeup in one simple step. One thing I will say is if you have sensitive eyes, don't saturate the cotton pad that you're using with this on it to go over your eyes because as you do that as you press on it'll kind of squirt into your eyes and that's not what you want. The moisturizer that I'm actually using at the moment and have been for quite some while there is actually a review on it on my blog it's www.glitter10andheels.com um, it's a few months back it might be the second or third posts that I put up there. I have extremely dry skin as I said. It's very flaky. I'm prone to eczema and psoriasis. This one has literally saved my life. It's the moisturizing soft cream for face body. And I hand. get a tiny little amount on the back of my hand. Literally that amount. So the next thing that I go in with is my L'Oreal um, Lumi Magic, I guess. that is just going to give you a really nice glow through your foundation. For my foundation I pretty much always use the MAC Studio Sculpt with SPF 15 foundation and um, this is the one I use most which is NC30 and this is NC35. Okay so I put that much, I know it's an awful lot but I do love a full coverage and I am Casper White mixed in with some tan. So I do need it to be quite dark and what I did was most of those dots are actually the NC30 and I put three dots of NC35. The brush that I'm using to buff this on is the Jessup brush from the Jessup set that I got off of eBay. I did have a review up on these on my channel before I deleted all my videos so I will be doing another one of these. And what I'm going to do is just buff this into my skin. Literally I'm doing this and then... So as you can see that's the majority of it on. Now I am going to get another tiny little bit of the NC30 and that's just to fill in the bits where I need that little extra bit of coverage. Like my nose, my cheeks, all that kind of thing. Next up I'm going in with my highlight and my concealer and the one I use is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti Fatigue Effect and it's in the shade if I could find it, 010 Ivory. And I use this to do under my eyes. This is running out a little, so. So 
anywhere you put your concealer, the it's going to be lighter on your face. So it's going to look like the sun is hitting that area of your face and it's going to give you that natural highlight. Oh, and the brush that I'm using to blend this out is the Emily 224, which is a dupe of the MAC 224. And I got this on eBay. You're going to blend it in circular motions. You're going to hold the brush really far out. You don't want to be too heavy handed. You want to hold the brush really far out and you want to do really light circular strokes. Just to give you that natural finish. Over your lip, highlighting it also makes it look like you have a nice juicy lip, which don't we all want that? Well, I do. Just like that, and by doing the highlight over your brow, it really accentuates. Accent oh, I can't even speak. It really accentuates your brow. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the PS Love Range um, Liquid Concealer and it's in the shade Natural and I'm actually going to use this as my um, base for my contour. So what I'm going to do is go in under my cheekbone. To find my cheekbone because I have these big chipmunk cheeks, I'm going to suck in my mouth and I'm going to see where the line is. darker line under your bottom lip is going to make your bottom lip look bigger to match it up with your big juicy top lip. <laughs> so we're just going to do the same thing with our blending. And what I'm actually using to blend is from my 6 plus um, makeup brush kit that I also got on eBay and I will be doing a review on them also. It's making me look normal. You can see already the way my face shape has kind of been chiselled in, if that makes sense, and um, it just gives a way better shape to the face. The powder that I'm using all over my face is um, the Rimmel look. Now, I'm using this simply because um, it's the only one that I have to hand. It's not because it's amazing or anything, because it definitely doesn't, um, it isn't something that I'm 100% convinced of, just because I don't like anything with the word mash. So, oh, I'm using my big brush from the 6 plus range next is going to be bronzer and this is going to go over the places that I put the darker concealer and this is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer Waterproof Bronzing Powder and it's in the shade 022 Sun Bronze. What I use then for this is actually a thick fan brush and this is actually from a fake MAC set that I got years ago. to try and blend up the colour from my neck to my face and also to get rid of that little double chin friend I have underneath there. Highlighter that I absolutely swear by. I have loads of highlighters. I have the Revolution um, palette of highlighters. I haven't even tried them on my face because I feel like I'm cheating on somebody <laughs> when I don't use the Mary Luminizer by the ban. And it is just Holy God, amazing. Using a almost blusher brush and it's from the 6 plus range as well, the same set. And I swirl it around inside it. I tap it off and apply it to the highlights of your face. But can, like, can you actually see that? Look at that highlight. I go down the top of my nose, up to my forehead, past of my lip. I just, oh, 
look! Oh my, I just can't even get enough highlights, like it's, it's kind of enormous. <laughs> Next up is um, my blusher and it's a W7 blusher and it's in the shade, I think this is the shade, um, Born Pretty and it's the smooth blusher, it's the W7. I was actually sent this for review and there will be a W7 review coming up on my channel using the same brush as I did for my highlight and I'm putting it just below my highlight, just above my bronzer. It just brings that back, that healthy glow back into your skin. Also, if you're seriously into your highlight, you can apply this L'Oreal Lumi Magique as well on top of your foundation. The next thing that I do is I just run through my brows. I don't fill in my brows every day because I do have them tinted. Um, and I just get a spoolie. This was from the Fake MAC kit as well. And I just run through it. And this is just to get off any product or powder that has stuck to them. So I don't wear eye makeup every day. I just wear mascara. But before I apply that, I want to set my face. So to do that, um, because I have dry skin, as I've said a million times, sometimes when you have this much makeup on, um, which is quite heavy for everyday makeup, but it's how I like it, I kind of think go all out or don't bother wearing makeup. Um, but sometimes with all the powders and all the layers and things that I have on, my skin can get that dry kind of a look. So to get rid of that, I use the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. What I do is I give it a shake, and I hold it about this far from my face and spray it all around my face. Okay, so when my um, setting powder has dried, I then go in to do my mascara. But before I can do that, because I don't have falsies on, I will be using an eyelash curler to curl my lashes. Okay, so when you have that done, you're going to go, go on to your mascara and the one that I'm using is the Essence Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara and it just says mascara for incredible volume and false lash effect, no clumps. Now this mascara is okay, I don't never get the hype about buying huge big expensive mascaras because to me a mascara is a mascara. The one thing I will say is this says there's no clumps, that is a whole total lie. There is a lot of clumps in this mascara. It's almost like a silicone wand. It's bendy, as you can see. Um, but there is an awful lot of clumps that it makes on your lashes. Okay, so that's the end of my everyday foundation routine. The only thing left to do is um, I put some chapstick on and I'm good to go. But that is pretty much it and you can see there is a difference from when I started the video to um, to now. So I really do like it. I love the, um, the dewy look it gives and that's down to the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Base. The Mary Luminizer um, Highlighter and also the NYX dewy setting spray so all of those together I do think makes this look and I hope you like it and thanks guys for watching this was a requested video so I hope the girl that asked me to do it and um, I hope this is what you were asking for I hope I was right in picking up what you wanted so um, if you have any other ideas please leave them below don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you do enjoy my videos please share them and let your friends know about them and thanks guys for watching bye bye